Okay, we're going to be making a Chateau. Now, the Chateau is a really good starter mattress. It's kind of on the lower end of the price scale, but it's a nice, firm, kind of classic type mattress. Not a lot of foam in it, but the one nice thing about it, it uses an individually pocketed coil, which is what we've got here. Made in Germany, we call it the EcoFlex. It's going to have around 600 coils in a queen size. As you can see, it's uh, this tall here. And the first thing we do to prepare the EcoFlex is we need to put water-based adhesive around the perimeter of the springs. After that, we're going to put our foam rail that's uh, nice for sitting edge. So we'll start by putting our water-based glue. And we put glue on the outside of every single coil. That will give us a nice seal when we put our foam on there. It's never going to come undone. Okay, now the water-based adhesive that I used is an odorless, non-toxic adhesive, super strong, and you gotta let it sit for a while. So I let this sit for about 15 minutes, and now I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is to put our high-density foam rails around the perimeter of the spring. Now what this does, it gives us a nice, firm sitting edge and if you're sleeping close to the edge of the mattress, you won't feel like you're rolling off at all. This is a, a 70 ILD foam. That's a very, very firm foam. Give you an idea how firm that is. Your average couch cushion is gonna be in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 ILD, which is pretty firm. But this is a 70 ILD. I can push really hard on it. It doesn't go down very far. So now, I go around push it in and make sure that the foam is seated into the coil and once this dries we got to let it sit for a while uh, it's going to take 30 to 60 minutes for this glue to actually dry that's why a lot of companies don't use the water-based glue because of the extra time it takes but at comfort king we build our mattresses slowly and we build them right Okay, now we've got the bottom of the spring unit prepared with our firming pad on the bottom. This, we glue it down also, and this helps square up the mattress, also provides a nice steady base for the bottom of the mattress. Now I'm gonna flip it and start working on the top side. So now we're gonna start adding our comfort layers to the mattress. The first thing I need to do is lay down a layer of water-based adhesive. Now, a lot of mattress companies today use canned glue, just canned glue, and they spray it down and then put the foam on. The problem with canned glue, it's got a lot of uh, off-gassing to it, and it's not the strongest glue in the world. Now, it's convenient, and we use a little bit of it, but the majority of our glue that we put in a mattress is the water-based glue system here, which again is non-toxic, no odor, and it's the strongest glue you can get when gluing foams together. All right, now I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes, and then we'll put our foam layers on top. Two, one. Okay, the first comfort layer to go down is called a lumbar pad, and that's a firming pad that we place in the center third of the mattress, we call the lumbar area. 
And that's done simply to give you a little more support down there uh, where most of the body weight is, where the lower back is. Essentially, it's just going to firm up those coils in that area. And then our first layer of foam, which I, I'm going to uh, glue down and add the added step of stapling it down with our flare staple gun. Okay, this is the bottom cover. It's going to go on the bottom of the mattress and this will wrap up and be the side wall, we call the border of the mattress. So now we're going to go put this on the inner spring core that we just built. Okay, we've put our bottom cover on. This is, you can see the border here. And that's sewn to the uh, bottom fabric underneath the mattress. And we put our top fabric on. Now what the Chateau uses, this is kind of a, a newer uh, trend that we've been using here at Comfort King is we put a stretch fabric on top. It's not a quilted cover It's a stretch fabric. This is kind of like the same type of topper the fabric that you would see on a Tempur-Pedic or a, that type of memory foam bed and It's a it gives the mattress a different feel a little bit firmer a little bit flatter But it's really been popular on the Chateau uh, since we implemented it last year so now the final step here is now that we got our cover cut out and evenly placed on here is we're going to sew it up with our tape edge machine. edge looks like. And that is the Chateau.